debriefing. You do not know how many times I've seen and experienced myself this done terribly. First of all, there is a time and a place to lead a debrief. And if it's your job to lead the debrief, it's your job to find the time and the place. I do not want a coach coming up to me two minutes after a race, especially if I've not done well, telling me about how bad a performance I had. There needs to be a safe environment to lead a debrief in. If it's been a good debrief, then fantastic. Let's figure out what went right and what we can do to replicate it. But if it's been not such a great performance, you need to understand that emotions might still be running high and people might not want to take that negative feedback on board. So that's why it's imperative that we lead with open and clear communication when we're debriefing.